Hi guys, so I'm finally back making videos again. Today's video is all about the Grishko Triumph model and also the two new models of it, which are Super Triumph and Super Triumph Pre-Arch. Now, for those of you that have been watching my channel for quite a while, um, you will know that I do fit point shoes and I'm a Grishko stockist. However, I just wanted to make you assured that Although I stock Grishko only, this video is going to be very honest, just like all my others. And, you know, I do ballet myself, so I've had a chance to try the shoes. Of course, everybody is different, everybody's feet's different, their strength and so forth. But let's get on with the video. <laughs> so, first of all, I just wanted to show you guys what the shoes look like. Now, in the middle, we have a standard Triumph point shoe. Please bear in mind that the one in the middle, um, although it's the same length for size 4, it's a different width, but the other two are the same. The reason why I don't have the one in the middle the same as the others is I don't have it in stock right now. So, the one in the middle is standard, and the other two are both Super Triumph, but one is pre-arched. Let's just show you guys what they look like. So first of all, let's talk a bit about the standard Triumph model. Now, it's apparently based on the Flotte. Personally, um, I feel that the shape is a little different. I'm not quite sure why that is, because they do say that it is made on the same last, so maybe it's just me. The Triumph shoe itself is quite square looking um, in box shape. Platform is very generous. Now, platform for point shoes is usually dictated by the box shape, um, the width of the shoe, and the profile height here. So because the Triumph shoe is quite um, boxy, has a high profile, and is generally, you know, quite square in shape. Well, it's more semi-tapered really, but it looks to me to be more on the squarer side of that. It therefore has more of a wider platform. Now you can get all Grishko point shoes special ordered and you can get um, the platform made a little wider but of course if a point shoe is more tapered then the platform itself is going to reflect that. So the standard Triumph has uh, fairly generous side quarters and a high heel. The satin is nice and smooth. It has um, a glued sole and it also has quite a flexible shank. Now this one here is a standard medium for a Triumph and in my opinion it's quite soft so you might want to bear in mind making sure that you work with your fitter to get the correct shank for you. It is um, very bendy at the arch in the standard model. Um, I mean, this pair are quite broken in already, but I just wanted to show you that. Now, let's compare to the Super Triumph. I'm going to show you, first of all, the Super Triumph standard without the pre-arched. So, when we're talking about the pre-arched part of the shoe, we're on about the shank, which is the stiff part of the shoe that supports the foot on point. Now, it's worth mentioning that I have got here for me both soft shanks in the Super Triumph. Um, they are quite stiff. The shanks are made quite similar to Dream Point model, which um, if you're not aware, it's more of a luxurious type of point shoe in which the shanks are basically thermo plastic. So they're not made of traditional materials. Now the idea behind these shanks is they are to be like more longer lasting and to also be more kind of ready to wear. So please remember when choosing your shank to make sure that in the Super Triumph model in particular that you get the right shank from the start because it's not really going to break in as a standard shank. So that's really important. Now. The beautiful thing about the Super Triumph is it is indeed padded, let's try and get the camera to focus, it's all padded inside. 
just like the Dream Point shoe by Grishko and the Miracle shoe. Now it's worth note telling you that it's not padded in the like box itself round here like Dream Point but it is padded in the bottom with a toe sock not a toe sock like a toe cushion and it's also got this really nice plush interior here so like a nice plush kind of inner sole so that's really a nice option to have because it just you know makes the shoes a bit more comfy but you know if a point shoe is fitted correctly it should be pretty comfortable anyways <laughs> so both the pre-arch model and the normal model of super triumph have this really gorgeous luxurious interior of the shoe they are both the same shape the only differences are the fact that one's pre-arched and one isn't now I'm going to try and show you this. Let's just move this light out of the way a second. I don't know if you can see that, but this one here, like this one, is pre arch and this one isn't. You can just see there the fact that this one has a curve to the arch of the shoe already, but this one doesn't. Now, personally, I really like the pre arched model because I like a shoe that feels quite ready to go. I tend to wear super soft or soft shanks in Grishko's anyways, regardless of the model. So for me, having a shank that conforms to my foot and helps me get over on point nicely is a winner. Now, you know, if perhaps you like your shoes to not feel so broken in, then you might prefer to go for the model that is not pre-arched already. Now I've just got this little booklet here that comes with the shoes. It says in the booklet itself that the unique bent inner sole um, and platform construction is made of high tech materials and provides a longer lifespan. Now that's referring to the fact that the shank is, um, you know, firmer plastic and therefore it's kind of made ready to go. It says that the soft padding in the platform is for maximum comfort as we've just gone through. It also has now a really cool feature like some Grishko models do, for example Dreampoint and Miracle have this. You can also um, special order Grishko point, point shoes to be pro version where it has this. So it has a silent knot um, in a detail and special light glue that make the point shoes noiseless. Now if you really hate noisy point shoes, especially if you're doing a lot of performance work, then I would totally recommend that you go for a Grishko shoe that is either the pro version or you go for the Dream Point Miracle or now the Super Triumph because they are all noiseless. So they basically make the construction of the platform and the pleats to make no sounds. So it's especially useful for dancers, you know, if you're doing careers or simply walking or run, running on stage, you're not going to get that loud noise that a lot of dancers who do a lot of performances tend to get quite annoyed about. Um, of course, with traditional point shoes, some people actually whack them on the floor to get rid of that noise, which is not really a good idea because you're actually damaging the box of the point shoe and the platform, and you're actually gonna make the shoe last, you know, it's not gonna last as long. So by having a Grishko shoe that already has that in it, you're actually, you know, you don't have to stress about it, and you can feel confident that you're not gonna get any noise from your point shoes. The booklet also says that it's rec the shoes are recommended for beginners and professional dancers, which I totally agree with. They are a very versatile shoe. They have longer, flexible, supportive wings. Now, when we're speaking about the wings of the point shoe, we're talking about the side pieces here. They are definitely higher and more supportive than the standard model. So, the standard model is this one, and the wings are quite squishy. They are not as high as the Super Triumph, which is really fantastic for those of you who perhaps have bunions or you, you just need that extra support around the sides of your foot. Now, there is a caution with these point shoes saying do not break in innovative point shoes as it can cause damage. And yeah, that, that basically means that with the Super Triumph model, if you try to bend it by hand, you may cause damage to the shank. Because they're ready to go, you won't need to keep bending them or break them in any other method. 
I mean, to be honest, Richie pointers are pretty much made ready to wear anyways. They don't really need a massive amount of breaking in, depending on the shank you get. So with the Super Triumph model, like I mentioned, make sure you get the correct shank for you because otherwise you are going to find yourself a bit stuck because they are not really going to break in a great deal more than they come as they are. It also says that the non-slip sole for better traction, so the sole is this part and it's, I'm just going to compare it to the standard one. It, definitely seems like a bit of a more different material um it seems more grippier it's still got the same pattern where they've scored it for extra grip and they're both glued soles it also says that it's got pre-arch shank as we know the pre-arch model has that they are ready to wear shoes due to the pre-arch shank and provides better support so I'm not sure if Grishko mean that they're both made ready to wear. I guess so, because as I mentioned, the shank is both thermoplastic. So again, you know, just bear in mind that if you want your shoes to be a bit softer, then go down um, a shank strength and also go for the pre-arch model. But if you don't prefer that, then just stick with the non-pre-arched. It has a soft lining of Velutino. So that's the plush lining I was on about. And also goes on to say about the sound absorption. So again, you know, it's made on the Fouette Last. The sizes go anything from 0.5 to 8.5 with a 9 by special order. The width is um, 1x to 5x. Maybe you could get um, a 6x on special order, I'm not sure. It has a U-shaped medium vamp. Now I'm just going to give you my own heads up on what I personally feel these shoes would um, be suitable for. Um, I feel that if you're looking for shoes to last a bit long, if you're already in Triumph for example and you want a shoe that lasts a bit longer then Super Triumph probably is a really good option because of the shank especially because like I mentioned in a traditional Triumph shank it is a little bit more bendy so you're probably going to find you get more lifespan out of these. I would say that it would be best to rotate shoes, like I mentioned, to my dancers that I fit for. If you're doing a lot of work on point, you should be keeping a few pairs on the go and rotating um, your shoes to get maximum lifespan. I would also say that because of the plush lining and the little toe cushion at the end, you absolutely want to make sure you allow these to dry out because when sweat comes into contact with the lining, you just want to make sure that it airs out correctly. Um, just the same as you do with a traditional shoe, but just be extra careful of that. Now, I feel that the Grishko Triumph model um, is best suited um, to feet that don't require such a profile height. If you have low profile feet, you may struggle in this shoe. I have fitted dancers with this shoe before that have low profile feet and it just doesn't work because there's too much room and I can stick my fingers down the top of the shoe regardless of being in the correct width. So just make sure that if you're gonna try the shoes that you go to a fitter and get their expert help. The profile height on a Triumph isn't like super high, it's like medium height, but you know, again, you could be either too low a profile foot or you could be too high a profile. If you're too high, you're going to ooze out, which, to be honest, I've never fitted anybody that has such a high profile foot that this shoe doesn't work. The box shape, as I mentioned, is um, semi-tapered, more on this kind of square side, really. So if you have very tapered toes, you might find that your toes move around too much in the box. But saying that, I have got dancers who have tapered toe configuration who do wear Triumph and really love it. So it's just a case of trying the shoes for yourself and making sure you get fitted correctly. Always bear in mind that the Triumph model fits different to other Grishkos. So if you're in a 2007, um, I tend to fit dancers half a size down and a whole width down when I'm fitting Triumph. It's the same as Fouette and Maya 1. Um, but again, that can vary, just, just be really sure to get fitted correctly. I would also like to say that I feel 
the box construction itself is a little bit stronger so maybe if you didn't like um, you felt the box was a little bit soft on the standard triumph then you know super triumph may be a great shoe to try i also feel by looking at them the the heel height and side quarters are pretty much same and of course so is the vamp length now personally for me um i have worn the standard medium triumph and now the soft in the pre-arch and non-pre-arch models the thing that i'm struggling with the most is the vamp length but i struggle with that on all shoes so typically i wear special order Maya one and when I do wear Triumph I have to have it special order too however I was keen to try it without a lower vamp um, the pre-arch model doesn't feel too bad in the vamp because it's pushing me over with the pre-arch shank but I do still feel that I need a little bit off the vamp here so you know I will cut that down myself and just restitch it but if you struggle with vamp length too don't forget you can special order Grishko point shoes and ask them to take the vamp down for you. You could even make it into a V if you like. Now I'm just going to show you the difference between Standard Triumph and Super Triumph. I have on the left foot a Standard Triumph point shoe, but please bear in mind, although it's the right length for me, it's the wrong width because I don't have the right width in stock. On the right foot we have Super Triumph in the correct length and width. Now as you can see, on point I'm not really over enough. I feel like I'm being pushed more over on the right shoe, which is the pre-arch model, but on the left one, not so much. But the vamp is quite restrictive on me. As I mentioned before, I do need shorter vamps. So I've got Super Triumph on both feet. On the left is the pre-arched model and on the right is the non-pre-arched. I'm just going to show you now um, on point how they look. So as you can see I'm definitely more over on the left shoe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, if you have any questions feel free to drop me an email don't forget I offer fittings um, all around the UK I travel to dance schools directly and dancers homes themselves um, I also have Instagram and all the other social media so if you look below there's all the links there thanks for watching